Hey all, Brian here from guantlabs.net. I uh, wanted to show you, which I've seen before, financial numerical recipes in C++ from this author here. Looks like it's been updated up until last year, June 2004. Um, now, uh, I'm making this video because I'm very lazy uh, and uh, videos are nice and convenient for me and I'm a bad, bad typist. So let's take a look at these um, benefits of using this because I'm fairly getting, we'll call it quote unquote, reacquainted with C++. Now I really like this uh, and what I'm also noticing with C++, the community for understanding and, and digging for um, financial models and algorithms is really good, uh, specifically for uh, Linux development, which is even better. Um, so it's out there, and the nice thing is that you can still do it on Windows as well with Visual C++, uh, or sorry, Vis yeah, well, Visual C++ and Visual Studio, as long as you don't use the bastardized versions of Microsoft that don't translate or uh, translate back into Linux or Mac. And let's go on about this. So we have here discussions about how to handle matrices. We've got discussions, again, now this covers a lot of the uh, major institutional asset classes out there. Um, we've got uh, some talk about bond, how to handle bond pricing. We've got um, some very popular uh, mean variance frontier. Uh, this includes frontier portfolios, uh, which will be very nice for my hedging, um, riskless assets. Um, then we have the famous sharp ratio cap M and all that. Um, beta portfolio, <clears throat> um, some really good, good stuff here. And <clears throat> I'll show you the more basic uh, uh, sets of instructions that come up with it as I randomly go through this. Now, of course, we get option pricing. All here, basic stuff. A little bit of futures, not much. Um, and then we have some good uh, Black Shoal stuff specifically Delta, implied volatility, um, and some other cool stuff. Extending the Black Shoals uh, a little bit, put some calls, that looks good. All this, now remember, this is all done in C++. I'll show you some, uh, ex again, some examples. Again, more option pricing, approximation, uh, approximations. Um, let's see, foreign currency, uh, just trying to think that might be useful in these different types of uh, options here. As I said, there is always a MATLAB, or which I believe will also work in the open source Octave as well. Uh, differentiation, uh, more option pricing with simulation in mind, uh, more approxima approximation. If you're into exotic stuff, you got it here. Um, let's see. Trees, all these different uh, types of methodologies. Now, here's where it gets really interesting: credit risk, time structure, uh, interest rates. This is all institutional, but it could be still useful for little guys. Um, and normal distribution. Uh, and then, of course, we have the famous um, other uh, libraries out there you can work with: C++ Boost. New Matt, IT++, don't know what that is, GSL, the new scientific la uh, library, um, and some other stuff as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, you talk, now, this is not a book for how to uh, get into C++. There's, there's a fairly good understanding of how this works. Uh, like, like you have a me immediate, a medium level of C++, okay? Um, it's, it's some basic stuff here. But don't get excited. Um, and uh, simple structures, that, like as in this example, which is quite nice. Um, talks about the namespaces, blah, 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 blah. Um, now, this one comes up a lot. How to handle dates in C++. I uh, talked to even Ivan about it uh, this week. Uh, I've got my own. That seems to work OK uh, from string to a time structure. I've shown that one of my videos. Again, date, date's a difficult one, it seems. Well, it covers that. Um, I'm not going to go through the entire uh, PDF, but I just want to show you some 
basics here. So, uh, which is very common in C++ matrices, uh, how to handle them. Uh, this is again MATLAB implementation. Um, how to do it in MATLAB. You know I like my MATLAB um, and uh, so and so forth. Awesome, awesome. Okay, get to know, uh, some more mathematical stuff. Uh, okay, so here is our first uh, C++ implementation of using, um, I believe it's, uh, okay, internal rate of return. Uh, I guess we are moving off of what I thought was still the matrices. So you, you can see some demos here, some charting. Uh, this is all done again in MATLAB. Um, now, this is the cool part of, of this um, PDF. We get our a mathematical representation here, uh, and then we get the equivalent coding here, uh, again in MATLAB. Let me just see if I can find anything <clears throat> with both MATLAB and C++. Okay, so here's another good one. So we have some mathematical representation right here. I believe this would be the one for um, MATLAB. And then again, guess what? You have the um, output and the calculations of how to do it in um, C++, I think. I'm not sure if this is right. Now let me just mention this. I am, uh, as a container, I'm just using basic vector I've tried to do my best research on if it's thread safe, it looks like it's supposed to be guaranteed, but again, uh, don't count me on that. And here's the mathematical equivalent in C++ with that formula from above, I believe, right here. That's the nice thing about this, uh, about this document. Um, so let me just get into uh, some option stuff. Let me just find the... Uh, uh, Black Shoals, yeah, it's pretty popular, so I'll be good. Some good examples there. Uh, where, oh, where are you? Uh, there we go. So we want page eighty-nine. Um, let's see if there is a go-to page here. I don't think I've been embedded. So just give me a second here while I, or I am even smarter than that. Uh, let me just. Uh, do a search on it, it'd probably be easier. Uh, where, oh, where are you, Black Shoals? Here you go. Ha, 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 funny. Okay, copy. There you go. Forgive me, today is Friday, it's been a long week. Okay, let's just do, okay, so here we are in the Black Shoals, chapter nine is exactly where I wanna go. So here's the formulas. Um, here's the C++ equivalent, yay. Uh, here's some more. Now, I've shown this from QuantStart. Now, we get, uh, again, we can uh, do it in uh, C++ or MATLAB, nice, nice, nice. Uh, and I believe there is some talk of Delta and some other um, Greek stuff. But um, yeah, here we go. So here's your Gamma, Theta, Vega, Rho, and all that. So here you go. Nice and easy. Uh, so you can throw out the Gwant start if you want. Um, and uh, we're all good to go. Now, here's another one. Implied volatility. Very good. Um, trying to find code for this was a kind of like a, a bitch. <laughs> But uh, here we are, we got, a, we got some code um, and uh, looks all good. So I'm pretty excited uh, finding this. I hope uh, this will help you out. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to structure all these algorithms as I move forward uh, with some real world uh, examples with hedging and more to come in terms of futures and options trading as I roll that out over the next uh, week or two. Over and out, hope this helps you out. Talk to you later.